Okay, at the end of the last video, if you've been watching these in series, I'd finished with the duration maps and identified maps 0 to 5 and tidied up the labels, etc. Now, if the ECU has got six maps, presumably it's got another map somewhere that helps control which map is in use at any one time, because if it's got six duration maps, presumably it will need to use duration 0 or duration 1 or duration 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look for the duration controller or duration selector. Now we know it's based on six maps, so I'm going to look in this area after the last duration map which is here and I'm going to look for anything that looks like a 6. Now if I keep working my way down through these numbers I could search, I could go up here and use the search button but I'm hoping something will be close by. Now there's a 6 there and there's another 6 underneath Oh, and there's another 6 there. So we have got some 6's. Now let's have a look at what data's next to them. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers, which makes sense. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers again. Now, if you've looked at some of these other videos, you'll know by now that that obviously is 0, but this will translate as 1. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now that does sound familiar, doesn't it? Because we've got maps 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a guess that this is what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to click and drag so that I can highlight just that bit. And then once I've done that, to select it as usual, I could go to selection and map, but I'm just going to press K. Right. Now what's happened is WinOS has decided it's seen some of this information before and it's grabbed it and altered some of it. Uh, it would have been handy if it altered this bit so that we got the 0 to 5 straight away, but we don't. But what we seem to get is some odd numbers and crankshaft rotation and the like. But we've got a map anyway, so we've got something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on there and see what we've got. Now it's, it seems to think that that is crank row. Um, it's picked up the fact that I use CR whenever I'm dealing with this. It's put in 0.023437, which you will again will remember from other videos, is the correct figure. But it's done something completely daft here. It's put minus 273.1. Uh, that's how we convert from degrees Kelvin to degrees centigrade. And that clearly doesn't make any sense at all because it's not a temperature. So we'll get rid of that. Right, let's have a look. We've got one decimal point. Now I think we went for one, I think we went for two decimal point places last time. So I think we'll do that again um, when we were looking at these figures. So let's have a look. I'll click OK and see what we've got. 51, 57, 63, 69, 74, 78. Right, well, let's just pull that down out of the way and let's open that one. Right, well, we've got some numbers here, but clearly these are up in the 70s and these are not. So does that mean the numbers are wrong? Well, we can't be sure at this stage, so we'll worry about that at a later date. So I'll close that down. Let's bring that back up where we can have a proper look at it. Right, now let's have a look at these, because we thought that they were probably 0 to 5. So I'm going to assume that they are a map choice of 0 to 5. So that's the assumption I'm going to make. Now, if that is correct, then we are going to need the correct factor in there. And the factor for that is 0 0.0390625. So we'll put that one in. Nothing to add here. 
we don't need to change the level of precision because we don't want 5.1 or something so we'll leave that right so what we've got then is some information here about crankshaft rotation and we've got a choice of maps now these figures they didn't match these ones up here but then maybe they shouldn't because these ones up here are telling us how long or telling the ECU how long the injectors should stay open these ones are telling us when we should use which map so these presumably come from somewhere else and there is a fairly good chance that where they come from is to do with start of injection so that is probably going to be one of the next places that I need to look at so I'm going to stop there and worry about that later <laughs>